live. This is 2OF Entertainment. And we and we yeah, we live. Yeah. We live. We live. With all with all our all our um special guests that may or may not appear. appear? We don't have any guests on the show. <laughs> Nobody uh, wants to come on this show. And my duck lips are and my blowfish lips are getting better, I think. They are. They are. I'm yeah. not gonna make any comments about it today. No, we did that enough on Adam on the eve yesterday, so yeah. So, you know, but it's good to roast you, though, Steve. You know, you, oh, you, you, you I enjoyed know. it. You know. I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, I, I know where everybody lives. You'll be getting packages. Um, no, no, it was yeah. fun. And then I was on a conference call last night, and someone brought it up. They're like, what happened to your lips? It looks like they got burnt. And I told them what happened. They're like, that's crazy. I'm like, I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, was, but they, they, they did get burned. They did they get, get burned. literally first degree burns with lip balm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, let, let, let me just do this because I've got an announcement. You're pregnant, and it's an alien baby. I'm pregnant, and you're the mother. Uh, um, I, I knew it. No, I just want to do a bit of a shout out to, to uh, Brown Car Guy because his book came uh, yesterday. That was that was Real World Monday, where I am, as opposed to okay. Hollywood Wednesday, where we are now. Yeah. And um, so, a big shout out to him for sending you the book. So I've now got a book to take on my to take on my holes. Very and nice. If, and if I get it, if I sure, I, with a bit of luck, if it's great and it's all a bit chilled out, we'll have a chance to read it while I'm on holiday. And I hope very much, like like a lot of these places, this holiday complex, there'll be some an area somewhere where people leave their books behind. It'll be great because I'll put a little note in it and I'll 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 leave it there and, and send it off on its journey. So. Um, Okay. You should, you should tell them well. to look, come, come, leave comments on Two O F Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, so that's all, 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 all of the, all of the above. But so that's just a bit of a just just a bit of a shout out. But here we go. Uh, we're going to start the actual show now. Yeah. Okay. On this week's no snobs or knobs, we have the true or false, the rant of the week. On this day, stupid AI photos, knobby news, sex horoscope, bum, 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 things to do before you die, and the AI Bambi of the week. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, are you ready to go? Oh, man, I was born ready. <laughs> okay, so it's true or false. There we go. I this part. Hey, we should tell everybody, by the way, in a fortnight when you return from your mm -hmm. holiday, that yeah. our show will be live on Tuesday mornings. Okay. So you can oh watch God. it live and rebroadcast on Wednesday if you love our show. If you don't love our show, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so okay. we'll be live live on Tuesday and also available on Hollywood Wednesday. Yes, there you or, go. All right, let's take in. Or are we on Hollywood Wednesday? No, I don't know. In Here we 1923, go. a jockey you know, won a horse race. I'm reading it. In 1923, a jockey won a horse race while being dead. I say that's true. Without even. I, without even batting an eyelash, that is true. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, you know how you know how this uh, how this all works. So uh, you have, here do you we have go. A rant? Do you have a I rant? Have, well, well, we have do a rant? have a rant because we've rant. had we've, we've, we've <laughs> had another another uh, deluge of of emails from Beaverlick, from, Kentucky. Uh, from Beaver Lake, Kentucky. But um, yeah. but, uh, do, you, do you want to have a bit of a rant before we start, or are you rantless? Are you going to have a rant about, about your duck lips or? Um, well, that's a Burt Bees, so I can rant about Burt Bees. So Burt Bees, the lip balm yeah. people here, let me I do a close-up here. Yeah, we can go out of this for a second. And then we'll yeah. go back. Just it's kind of the rant. So it, right here, so I use their Burt Bees, their, their, their beeswax with peppermint. And apparently it caused, on my lips, first-degree burns. So now I'm healing from that. So my rant of the week is... Um, they Burt Bees better, not better, but they should understand what's put in their product because that's just crazy. I'm trying to think of how many people that happened to, but I did send them an email and they emailed me and they go, we're going to give you a coupon so you can buy more Burt's Bees. And I'm like, great, I'm going to buy the vanilla. But I'm thinking to myself, don't send so much new coupons. That's nice that you're going to send me a coupon. But like if I need to go to the doctor or the hospital, 
because of your stuff, I'd like be suing you. So that yeah. was kind of my rant. It's like, you know, it's like you should call if you, should, if you think you need medical attention. I mean, granted, I sent the email at six in the morning. They came back at four in the afternoon. I'm like, no shit. If I need medical attention, of course, I'm going to go to a doctor or a hospital. But knowing what it is, it's sort of like it's just going to take time to heal. I'm thinking to myself, I wonder how many other people use the, the burpees, um, peppermint uh, beeswax bomb. And this happened to. And it's just out there without like a warning, like, hey, could cause whatever. All their other stuff is great. It's just this one does. Yeah, I don't know. Good too. But of course, it's, it's, I read, I was reading a piece uh, this morning on the internet. It's no longer available because um, people have given up um, plastic surgery, all these young hot things. <laughs> and they're, <laughs> going, they're going out there and buying the bomb so they get the duck yeah. lips for free. So you can get duck there lips for free. For, for $2.99, you can have duck lips instead of going yeah, we, and getting. Uh, injections and or whatever but I swear when I woke up that morning I was like oh my god and it was just like you could just tell it looked like uh, like the worst okay. so so much okay. for their natural healthy crap anyway so I still so use this the vanilla one so we it. have now uh, round to the week and this is from Beaverlick Kentucky from yeah Island another Dover. one from uh, Miss Eileen Dover uh, Beaverlick, um, Kentucky. There really is a place Beaver, called Beaverlick, Kentucky, isn't there? There, there definitely is a place called Beaverlick. We should, Kentucky. you know, I'm, I have to hashtag Beaverlick, Kentucky, and let the yeah. citizens of Beaverlick know that we think of them every week. And with yeah. your luck, yeah. there really is a chick named Eileen Dover there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I called yeah. her Miss because she could be married, you know. But, um, oh, that's true. Okay. You know, yeah, she could, be, her she could be married to Butch. You remember him? It could be Butch Dover. Butch Dover. Um, you know, oh, or Push. It could be a pushover. No, okay. Push anyway, here we go. Here's where we are going. So, why do I need an app to control my lights, thermostat, or even my refrigerator? How about I just walk over to the light switch like a normal person instead of pulling out, whoa, hey, now, my phone for everything? I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go then. That's, uh, I mean, that's, when I was a kid, uh, having a remote control TV was a big thing. And then now, you know, and now everybody has their lights on it, they're this on it, they're that on it. It's crazy. They even have vibrators on remote control. It's crazy. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, well, 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 strangely enough, then it would appear yeah. that you are, that you have to agree with uh, Miss Dover on this one. Of course. She's from Beaverlick. I think place called okay. Beaverlick. I agree with those people. All right. You know. So let's I think we did look it up, though. Didn't we think Beaverlick has like a thousand people? And they're all yeah, brothers it is, and sisters. It is, and it is. Okay. Well, um, I, I was very. Uh, it didn't really sort of like uh, occur to me instantly before we go to on this day, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's because it's Hollywood Wednesday, so it means yes, it's nine yes. eleven, and it has a particular. Uh, re I would be particularly reverent to to the day itself. I've not included that in on this Good. day for, for, for many reasons. But on a very personal note, 9-11, 2001 mm -hmm. was the date that I came out of hospital after having um, surgery for my intestinal uh, cancer. And that oh. was 23, 23 years ago to, uh, oh. today, Hollywood, Hollywood mm. today. Hollywood, Hollywood um, today. Hollywood today. And um, so, yeah, so I'm grateful. So I've, I've mixed feelings about the day. It was a strange day all around. Um, I have so a, so we're, here's a nine here's a nine eleven. I was actually supposed to be in the building that morning for breakfast. Yeah, and I lived in Virginia, and the girl I was living with at the time um, said we were invited to a party, and since the party was going to be like very very late, and it was on Sunday, she said, "Why don't we just spend the night in D.C. because we lived in Middleburg." And she said, "We'll spend the night in D.C. and then what we'll do is I'll drop you off in the morning to the airport." So you like instead of getting in, in New York at eight o'clock in the morning and going for a 9 a.m. breakfast, why don't you guys just make dinner? So I called everybody on Friday afternoon, Saturday. Everyone said, you know, that's a great idea. Let's just go out to dinner Monday night. So because of that, I wasn't if not, I would have left um, Dulles Airport at 6 a.m., would have been in New York at 7, 730 and in the building by eight o'clock. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, so they are both for us then important days. But there's yep. also, um, this was uh, an important day uh, for, for lots of reasons other than 9 11. Yep. So we're going to share it now with, with our incredible number of viewers that tune in every week um, to fall asleep. So on this day in 1976, 
the Rolling Stones, plausible than I want to say. When celebrating their successful album, the Rolling Stones were kicked out of a hotel in Austria for allegedly throwing a television out the window. I've heard of that. When questioned, the band denied it um, with the now iconic line, it was probably someone who looked like us. That's awesome. I like that. Good for them. So, Good for um, you and Mick Jagger and whatever yeah. your name So is. I thought uh, because it's because it, I did, like to say, 9 11, I struggled with that a bit. Um, yeah. But, well, it was well, I think this is better than a, than a whatever. But for all the families that lost, you know, we, they always have our condolences. And actually, tomorrow yeah. or today, depending on how you want to look at this, on today when this is aired, when I get up in the morning, the girl that saved my life by not telling me to take a later flight, I actually yeah. send her a text every 9 11 and tell, I just say thank you. And then I get a little yeah. smile back. That's our annual yeah. communication. Yeah. And like I yeah. say, it, it, uh, it's, it'll be uh, 23 years to the day yeah. for me. A long time ago. Came out a long time ago. I've been clean since yeah. then. So, uh, but you know, something will get me in the end, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Buy some Asian ochre. No. <laughs> Fill this house of pain. All right, here we go. Stupid AI photo of the week. And usually play these, and I always find them really cool. So let's see here what we this go. is. Well, let's see, we'll see if you feel this one cool. Ah, uh, this one's awesome. I love this one. Well, he's, he's missing sunglasses. If he had yeah, sunglasses on, this would be a cool They'd have to be special AI sunglasses then. Oh, I know. Three, that's an awesome three picture. Three lenses. I like it. Yeah. Well, maybe I should turn. Or maybe we should call this one "Awesome AI Photo of the Week." Maybe. I mean, you know, you'll be away for a fortnight. You'll have time to think. So. Yeah, because yeah, most of them you know, stupid I, at all. I, I put I put them up because I think they're stupid, and you go, "Oh wow, yeah, that I, 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 I put that on my wall." Yeah, so, I like um, this one. I like this one. Like to me, it's like you did the gorilla and elephants on skate. I like the ones you're doing. I don't think any of these are stupid. I think they're pretty cool. Yeah. I would want them all little three D models on my desk. Okay. Well, maybe it should be uh, Stephen's wanted 3D model AI photo of the week. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's move on. <laughs> oh, not being here we go. Week. Here we go, boys and girls. And now uh, remember, everybody, in a fortnight when David returns, the show will be live, so you can you can be here with us in real time and add your comments. Not that you want yeah. to. Yeah. All right. Tell what do we have? Here? Tell, tell, of the week. It, tell us how knobby you are this week. Are you ready for the knobby news, Stephen? Oh, sure. Got to be ready for something. Here we go. Number uno. Man inhales cockroach in his sleep, has bad breath for three days. What the hell? A Chinese man who felt something crawling up his nose one night experienced a particularly bad breath for three days before discovering he had cockroach stuck in his what is what? Is oh, tra his tra tra nose. Tracula, I think it is. Uh, it must be his oh, nose. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Very yeah. interesting, I think. All right. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, pff, yeah, that was worth yeah. the effort. Number two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man with amazing memory recites 14,000 digits in order to set a world's record. Um, some guy named Deepu Poopy, Poopa -ba 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 -ba, V from India, is a man with an incredible memory. He recently set a new Guinness World Book Records, a whopping 14, the digital of Uma's number in just 49 minutes. Hey, I can do that. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 14,000. I'm not going to know what word. Yeah. Do you know what the Umul number is? Hold on. Let's look at what the Umul number is so people will know. Umul number. Let's see yeah. what the Umul number is. The Umul number is a cons um, is constant used in mathematics calculation. The value of E is 2.718281828549, oh, no. blah, 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 and so on, just like pi. E is also an irrational number. Sure, because uh, that's great. So what, he's, so what he's done then is he is extended the, the, the after the decimal point by 14,000 digits. Yeah. In 49 minutes, all of which were correct. Well, here's the problem with this. He's never going to get laid. Well, I'm just saying, uh, this guy is never going to get laid in his entire well, life. We, 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 should, we should politely suggest that he moves away from mathematics and goes on to his sperm count then. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> uh, no, that's just crazy. I mean, that's interesting, and I'm glad he, you know, he's got nothing to do with his wife but yeah sure oh, okay mm -hmm. right 
well, it's, 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 yeah. it's interesting. It's interesting. Then, uh, uh, would I, you know, could I, could I accept the the word interesting uh, for all the effort that I put in to find this particular gentleman, or is it just? <laughs> Just, ah, I think you both would be just, delayed. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Or is this just, just like the normal amount of bollocks that we have on, on yeah, the Yeah, pretty much. Sure, yeah, probably call it, call it, we call it bollocks. But there you go. Number yeah. three. Family scams restaurant by placing cockroaches on their dinner plates. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. The Puerto Rican Che restaurant in Guadalajara, Mexico, recently took to social media to share a family of scammers who, after being caught on the video, placed cockroaches on their plates at the restaurant so they could complain without having to pay the bill. All right. That's a scam that's been going on forever, though. Yeah. But this time, yeah. of course, it's in Mexico, and there was, they was oh. these, these were special Mexican cockroaches. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, and okay. obviously, obviously, the restaurant people thought, you know what? We know who you are. You know, we can find you on Facebook. We can find you on Facebook or whatever. Nice. Very so, nice. Um, all right. That was yeah, interesting. Well, you know, nothing, not, nothing here that's like, I'm like, yeah, it's all right. Well, it, yeah. well, it did, well, it got, it got a trumpet. So, uh, oh, the, well, then it's got to be I, worth it something. Got a, it got a trumpet because we moved on from, yeah, to interesting. So, they, anyway. Number, <laughs> number, number four. Number four. All right. Here we go. All right. Russian bizarre plans to build Big Ben replica and nuke the, what the heck, and nuke it to scare the West. One of Putin's yeah. cronies has shared his bizarre plan to build a replica of Big Ben. You know, let me tell you, my cousin went to London. When he found out Big Ben was a clock, he was very disappointed. But anyway, um, yeah. one of Putin's so, cronies has shared his bizarre actually not a, actually not a clock. There you go. We'll get on to that in a minute. It's a tower. Oh, Excuse me. No, it's, Excuse a, it's me. a bell. It's a bell. The bell's called Big Ben. ben. It's a Big Ben, but it's not what he thought <laughs> okay. it was. Anyway, oh. anyway, so um, in fact, we tell him in the, uh, in the family tree he's in the fruit section. But anyway, one of Putin's cronies... I shared his bizarre plan to build a replica of Big Ben that's not a clock and nuke it to frighten the West. Russian propagandist Alexei Makapakatupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupupup
of a public dumpster. No kidding. It's also against the law to have a meal in your neighborhood neighbor's garage. What the? F yeah. Um, why in Texas they have it? The rule uh, is annoying. It's, people Anyways. eat in their garages all the time. So I don't. That's yeah. the people can go to jail. Oh, but the, that's the dumbest thing in Texas. Oh, uh, you see, you're allowed to have a meal in your own garage, but you're not allowed to invite Bigfoot round to to your friend's oh. house and have you know. Oh, let me with let me just garage. let me figure this. So if you can't eat your neighbor's rubbish, but I can go three home, yeah. three doors down, that's technically not my neighbor. I can eat their rubbish, and I can't eat. I can't. Uh, I, well, you I can't eat out of a dumpster. Well, yeah, that's that's for the raccoons. So, okay, interesting. Well, yeah, people, interesting. people do go, uh, people do go uh, dumper surfing uh, for food. I do. All yeah. right. Well, this one so far is the winner for me because of the um, the Washington, like yet to be discovered. You can't kill Bigfoot. Yeah, so, I like it. Yeah, and, and of course, anyone found slaying a big hairy beast, <laughs> you know, well, what can I say? I think uh, a lot of women are going to have a problem at night with that. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, go. I, I, I have to make a noise now. <laughs> Simply because I've now discovered that after number five comes number six. Wow, look at all those years of public school have paid off. Mom and dad are so happy. All right. Yeah. The UK public revealed they have a sex. They, they'd have sex to survive if aliens invaded today. What the heck? Uh, okay, here we go. The first thing they would do if Martians did land on Earth tomorrow, friends and family, 26% um, find essential supplies, 20% run and hide, of course, and 18%, whatever. Okay, one in 10 said they'd say hello. Others, they'd ask the Martians to take them back to their planet. That would be me. Um, that was 11% with some 5% admitted they'd have sex with the nearest human. Hope it's consensual. Um, despite one third of the Brits, 33% think they might think about Earth being invaded by Martians at least once a year, really. A whopping six in 10 revealed they feel unprepared for a hostile Martian invasion. Well, of course you do. Yes. Oh my God. Anyway, the British are stupid. That's all I can say. Sorry. But uh, so. Yeah. So, um... yeah so, so Brits are having sex because we're being invaded. Brits yeah, have sex yeah. with Martians. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Brits. Well, Brit, Brit, well no, five percent would love to. Well, yeah, they'd have sex with them. They don't have sex with anything, really. To be honest. Anyway, well, I figure. Have you, seen the, have you seen the Brits? So basically, yeah, number number number. It's either number five or number six. But for the stupidest story, it is definitely number six. That the, yeah. the British people would have sex with Martians to survive. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Okay, here well, we talk uh, we of the Big above. Hearts. Talking of the above, uh, it's now time to see six. if you're going to be lucky or not. David, this has got to last these people a fortnight. Yeah, well, this is this is uh, all these people. Oh, this is from Hollywood, Hollywood Wednesday to see whether or not okay. you're going to get laid. You're going to get laid or not from okay. Hollywood Wednesday. All right, so, here we go. Um, Let's see. Let's let's trund let's trundle on. All right. So if you're an Aries, you have a 49 percent chance of getting lucky. So good luck with that. So, yeah. Taurus 77. Oh, the bull. The bull is getting a 77 percent. A little bunky yeah, bunky. All bull. right. Yeah, that'll be a lot of very happy cowboys. All uh, right. And Gemini is 66. All right. That's good. Better than better. Better than the other one. Yeah. Oh, Cancer 86 percent of getting laid. Congratulations. We're very proud of you all. Send us an email. Yeah. Or people, Leo, sixty-five percent. Yeah, Leo's never really getting late any of our shows. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay, but, you know that's. It's, uh, I, I think the lion's sleeping tonight by the sound of it. I, oh, constantly. It's, oh, Virgo, ninety. Virgo's getting late weekly because they're always in the nineties. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. Virgos! You're ninety-four percent chance of getting some nookie from your significant other, or if you're in the United Kingdom, from a Martian, apparently. So there you go. Yeah. Or oh, yeah, right. or a marshmallow, which whatever. Oh, you find if you like, soft, yeah, that's always fun. Is it whatever you find green. is soft and cuddly for that matter. But so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, leave it thirty percent. Yeah, they're never getting laid. <laughs> no, you know they, they might just want they, they might just want to throw themselves out of a window. They but, uh, scorpions, scorpions, seventy-seven percent. Scorpio. Scorpio. 
Scorpio, 77%. Oh, Italian. Sagittarians. Well, that, well, well they're, do, they're, doing it, they're doing it with the Scorpions. With the Scorpions. Obviously. Yeah, sure. I see that. You know, obviously. So yeah. it's a good week for both of them. I see that. You know. So we see all the Durex sales going up this week. Anyway, uh, Aries, Aquarius. Oh, of Aquarius, as you say. Yeah, I'll help you with the tough words. Is... That's seventy-seven percent. Oh, they must be doing yeah. it with the other two groups. All right, well, we know where the origin oh, is. It's a, it's, a, it's a threesome then this week. I see oh, that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, hot stuff. Right. Hot and last stuff. but not least, Pisces sixty-six. Really, Jesus. Yeah. I'm a Pisces. No, um, I mean a, there are certain a, people. There are certain people. Certain people on these show, on this particular show uh, are dear audience, not mentioning any name, Stephen, who is in fact the Pisces. So you're going to be, um, it's going to be tumbleweed for you this week, mate. And it's, it's Pisces. Is, I think we had one week where the Pisces was 94%. Yeah, and I was very, well, yeah. I was very excited, except my wife was out of town that week. So I was like, great. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's probably where you got <laughs> the duck lips from. There you so, go. There that's you where go. I got the duck lips. All right. Yeah, what do we have yeah, now? Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, things to do before you die. What are we going to do before we die? Yeah, achievable things, Stephen. You have to be, you know, let's 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 build some tension here. Oh, I'm sorry, realize you know, got to build tension. <laughs> achievable things to do before you die: go through a car wash with your windows down because you're a moron. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, but for some people, that could be like the ultimate blast. You know. Why? I mean, come home and to, you know the wife gets in the car and the kids get in the back with the snorkel and flippers on, and yeah, um, why? Yeah, or as if I, I I I had a boss here into at the investment house and uh, he loved his cars and he bought this M M series M six, right? Um, which which was wonderful because you could drive down the autobahn with him and actually the fuel consumption <clears throat> needle went faster than his speedo. So, yes. uh, as, as, as one went up, the other one went down. And yep. um, he said to them, well, you know, is it okay to take it into a car wash? Yeah, sure. You know, it's a, it's a BMW. He took it in. It filled up with water. Not a happy bunny. Not a happy wow. bunny. But um, yeah, If you have leather know. seats and stuff, that would pretty much ruin your car. It did pretty much ruin his car, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, because nowadays was... with all the electronic, back in the day, like in 1950s, those cars you can run it through – basically a tree and the tree would be gone the car would still go but yeah. you know you ran those cars to the car wash with the windows down nothing happened like you'd open the door yeah. the water comes out and you still drive your car today a uh, drizzle all of a sudden the electronics on the car go crazy so yeah so today's not there you couldn't do that with today well it's, it's funny when i first came to holland in the 1980s i saw there was a guy in the village where we were living then and he had um an old uh, larder you know, the, okay. the Soviet a Soviet larder, oh, wow. and and he and he had an accident with a guy in a Volvo, which is supposed to be the okay. most like the most safest car on the on 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 the planet. Wrote the Volvo yeah. off, not a scratch on the larder. But, oh, of uh, course, well, go. that's because the larder is made uh, like they. That's a car. A Volvo. Volvo is good <laughs> if you hit another car, not if you hit anything yeah. else. So yeah, okay, so very nice. Oh, true or false? Here we go, I Stephen. Said, I said it was true. The de dead jockey won a race. You think so? I think so. Is it Why is, not? is the tension is the tension building now? No, I'm good. Well, <laughs> great, another exciting show. Anyway, let's Ready move on. Here we go. go. It, true. The answer is true. I was right. Yeah. True. 1923, a jockey won a horse race while being dead. Yes, jockey Frank Hayes suffered a heart attack mid race, but remained on the horse, crossing the finish line first. Of course, it is. Of course. So there you go, 1923. Dead jockey wins race. That's it. I'll have to put that in. I'll have to do that as well. Dead, hold on. Yeah, you get all quality jockey. stuff on this show, Stephen. I know. All right. Dead jockey wins race. I got it. All right. This is exciting. Look at us. Got Bigfoot, Big Ben, dead jockeys. Oh, Time for the A, the AI slut of the week. Let's see yep. what this looks like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you wrapping up before we get to the babe, or do you want to do the babe and then we'll wrap up? Or we'll, um... oh, let's do the babe and then we'll wrap up. Okay, so here she comes. Then. I like 
that the AI baby of the week was cute. That was a cute AI yeah. baby. Yeah, well, it, 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 it should it should be uh, well. The idea, of course, of the AI baby of the, of, of the week. It's very short because the, the the clip is very short because I've tried to see how much time uh, teenage boys would need to a to rush off to their bedroom or down to the basement. <laughs> so uh, uh. It's, like, it's like you got like thirty seconds to do your thing. Oh, that's um, a- and then most of them, that's all it takes. So for them, it's perfect. No, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Was, he was a hot. So it was hot. I like that. Yeah, like sponsored, the, sponsored by Alka Seltzer. Plump, plump fears, as they say. Yeah, that's all it. what a relief it is. So everybody, we know you're going to be upset. All three of you that are watching the show, but David's going to go on holiday for a fortnight. So a fortnight. We will not have that fortnight. So the next time you see us will be. When are you back? Do they think that I'm going to be paragliding onto an island if we say fortnight? Do you think that's what they? Think I'm going to be doing? Stupid is stupid. We can't help it. Okay. So, but anyway, so they do that. They do that. We won't. You won't be back till the first week of October then. Uh, it depends. I don't know what 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 is the first Hollywood Wednesday that we have after I come back. Well, no, because we're going to do it live. Oh, oh yeah. So, um, well, yeah, I don't. I, 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 Never yeah, mind. I can tell. This is. I can tell. This is. Well, I, I'll be. I will be forgotten um, by then. Yeah, the first. So you, our next show will be October first. Cool. It will be a live show October first, and Hollywood Wednesday is October second. Okay. Well, that's that's there good. You go. And um, you know, uh, I I hope I hope uh, people um, you know are, are going to be able to survive without knowing what the uh, sex wheel of fortune is going to bring them in the next two weeks. Um, sure. you know, ju- just in case, uh, you know, go and get some kitchen rolls, all I can say. So, um, you know. oh my god, don't forget to subscribe and like everybody. We will see you October 1st live. And if you want to see us live, it'll be at eight o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time, seven o'clock Central Time, or whatever that time is in Europe. And if you're in California, you have to get up really early, or you can always watch the rebroadcast on Wednesday morning. So, there yeah. you go. Two so o'clock in the afternoon go. if we're not banned by then. But um, well, I'm sure we'll do something by then. So all right, well enjoy your holiday. Thank you, Stephen. See you no then. Bye bye. Right. See everybody later. Cheers. Bye.